In its original form, Dragon's Dogma was twice as large as the game that finally shipped, and the world the team mapped out would have been impossible to create within their given budget at the time. But today, we're going to take a closer look at the cut content that never made it into the final release of Dragon's Dogma, starting off with some of the early vocation and character concept art. This was the initial concept art for a proposal with a group shot of the different vocations and races that would fit in the fantasy genre. Here we see Eastern, Dark Skinned and Elven characters, but also Beast Folk represented by this lion that never made it into the final game. Early concept art also show an unarmed and spear wielding class that I really hope they bring back in a sequel. It also seems that magic would have looked different with the ideas they had in the early concept art for mages. Casting spells could have looked more immersive and magic items would be required to cast spells like seen here. The use of casting motions is an idea that actually made it into Dragon's Dogma Online where you have to go through a minigame when casting spells. The concept art for monsters and enemies also revealed some really interesting ideas that never made it into the final release, like destructible objects in the world and the possibility to interact with monsters to a higher degree than just climbing them. Other artwork shows some massive monster concepts that reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus. They would need huge areas for these monsters to roam in, but probably also a game mechanic for destructible objects during these enormous fights. Although the unused monsters we see here never made it to the final release of Dragon's Dogma, many of these concepts returned in the online version of the game in 2015. And if Capcom are able to reuse these assets in the RE engine, there is a high chance we'll see these monsters return in the sequel as well. The official design works for Dragon's Dogma is filled with interesting secrets and concept art, and if you enjoy these kinds of videos, I'll continue making showcases and dig deeper into the enemy designs and ideas the team had when mapping out Dragon's Dogma, and also discuss what we could expect in a sequel with new enemy mechanics, a more interactive world, and next-gen combat. 